What's up friends, Millie Pantry here. I am a recipe writer. And today for Thanksgiving, we're gonna make another super simple, easy recipe, a cheesy grits casserole. Finished Ultimate makes cleanup in the toughest conditions a breeze, even when you skip the rinse. So I have my stock. Depending on how much flavor you want, stock is more full bodied, broth a little bit more mellow. I'm gonna add a good pinch of salt to it and we're gonna bring it to a boil. So a few of my holiday traditions of hosting are as follows. I do a huge prep the day before. I make sure everything is seasoned. I make sure I have all my serving vehicles out. I may preset my table. And another one is, you know, everybody could bring a dish. That way it's a more fun and memorable experience and you get a chance to taste something that you normally wouldn't prepare on your own. So now that our broth is at a rabbit boil, I have our grits, and we're just gonna add it to the pot slowly and whisking at the same time so we don't have any clumps, right? Nobody wants any clumpy grits. During Thanksgiving, it's a huge balancing act, right? I mean, you have to cook, you have to entertain, you have to make sure everybody's happy, but who's really happy doing dishes, right? But the beautiful thing about Finish Ultimate is you can pop your dishes into the dishwasher, you do not have to pre-rinse, press start and continue to enjoy the party with the rest of your guests. So now I'm gonna add my cream to my grits and I'm still whisking. I just add all of my half and half to my grits that I cooked in some stock and I'm just gonna continuously whisk it until it's nice and smooth. I wanna make sure it doesn't burn and I wanna make sure we alleviate all lumps. The half and half has such a creamy flavor to it. It has to be nice and velvety smooth. So now that we have our grits nice and smooth, we're gonna add some seasoning to it. So I have some fresh cracked black pepper. Pepper makes everything better. I have some garlic powder and I have some paprika. So if the grits were too tight in this moment, you can add some more stock or water just to thin it out until you get to the consistency that you desire. We have our grits here, they're nice and seasoned. I turn off the heat. This thing will bubble like lava and we do not want any burns on us on our beautiful Thanksgiving day, right? So I'm gonna add my butter. I'm just gonna break it up so it can melt evenly and quickly into my grit mixture. It's Thanksgiving, child. Calories don't count on Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm gonna mix that in there. They're nice and melted. We have some cheese, and I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of it, and I'm gonna reserve some to put on top of our casserole. I'm gonna mix this in. This is the perfect time. I'm gonna taste. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for this. Good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna add some salt to it. Mm-hmm, that's it. That's it right there. Okay, so now the casserole portion of our grits casserole. So we're gonna take our eggs and we're gonna crack them into a bowl. And we're gonna give it a slight whisk. Now you may ask, why am I not dumping these eggs directly into these hot grits? Well, reason being, we don't want scrambled eggs. We want these eggs to actually go into our grits to make some type of custard, and it's gonna actually hold it. So right now, they're, they're delicious on its own, right? But we want it to have some type of form, like the same way you make macaroni and cheese, and it kind of holds its shape. That's the same thing these eggs are gonna do to the grit casserole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some grits, and we're gonna slowly add it in while mixing. In this tempering process, we're bringing everything to the same temperature. We don't want scrambled eggs. And now we'll take our eggs and add it into our grits. So what I'm doing now is I'm fully combining our whisk eggs into our grits. We have a nice smooth consistency. So a couple Thanksgiving make-ahead tips for this recipe. 
I would definitely pre-shred my cheese. I would not use the pre-packaged ones because the shredded cheese adds so much more flavor. Another thing that you could possibly do is you can totally measure out your ingredients ahead of time. You can um, portion out your liquids. The tricks that I like to use for Thanksgiving is whatever's gonna make it easier for you. There's no right or wrong way. I just say make it as easy as possible. Those are my tips for Thanksgiving, but for home cooks, Finish has created the ultimate Thanksgiving timer. Now that we have our eggs inside of our grits, I have a prepared and buttered casserole dish, and I'm gonna add our mixture to it. Look how smooth that is. Remember that reserve cheese? Yep, we're gonna sprinkle it on top. Now that we have our grit casserole in our dish, we're gonna pop it into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes until it's set and the cheese is bubbly brown on top. Ooh, hot grits. Mm. So instantly you smell cheese. Um, it just smells so good. You see how puffy it is, kind of like a souffle. That's from the eggs. And I'm just gonna garnish. I love onion flavor, so I have some chives here and some fresh parsley. Why, because, you know, herbs make everything better. Beautiful. So I have a little bit for me. We all know grits are super hot. I don't want to burn them with my mouth, so I got my little portion. I'm going to put it to the side so it can cool off a little bit. But I want my friends in the Food 52 kitchen to enjoy it because, you know, it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is all about sharing and grace. So I'm going to take my dish and I'm gonna give them some, cause you know, I'm trying to keep it cute, can't eat too much grits. And I'm gonna take it on over there and we're gonna enjoy it. Ooh, this is hot. The casserole. All right, I got some yummies. Come on guys, come taste it. Oh wow, it looks delicious. Good, I'm hoping so. Yeah, what do you think? I like how fluffy it is. I really like how fluffy it is. These people ain't used to being on camera. They just want to eat their grits and go about their business. Just go back to their desk. <laughs> now that my friends are fed, I'm loading the dishwasher. I'm confident to skip the rinse because finished Ultimate tackles burnt on stains. So you saw I shared my grit casserole with my friends here at the Food 52 kitchen. I reserved a little bit for myself. I let it cool down. I threw my baking dish in the dishwasher because I wanted to make sure I had a nice clean kitchen while we tasted this grit casserole. So let's get into it and um, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get into it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see. Creamy, cheesy, and I like the herbs and a, as well as that, that garlic flavor. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends in the Food 52 kitchen while my dishes are washing and I'll be right back. Ooh. Come on, finish Ultimate. Fabulous recipes, clean casserole dish. Listen, I'm excited about hosting this Thanksgiving season with my family and friends. And with my co-host finish Ultimate in my back pocket, it will be a breeze. So if you like this cheesy grit casserole of mine, you can check out my Cajun Spice Roasted Turkey that you can also find on Food 52. And don't forget to check out the video as well. Happy Thanksgiving.